Hi, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me. Today, I want to talk about economics in the shower. Yes. Um, I was just, just thinking about economics and uh, different, like, it's kind of weird when it comes to certain ideologies, like for instance, uh, libertarian ideologies, or at least in the American context, or like um, just conservative or neoliberal ideologies. So, obviously, in like a more welfare state type society, where uh, what do you even call it? Uh, uh, democratic socialist type system. You often see higher taxation, right? But what you also see in welfare capitalist countries, specifically, is you see uh, more consumers with more money. So, the question is, what's better? Higher profits, i.e. less money being spent on taxation or worker benefits, or scale. Um, I think it's no secret that like, a large portion of the consumer base in America or Canada don't have a ton of spending money, or maybe not as much as they want. You can't buy that M4 iMac, you know what I mean? They just got released. And I imagine what our societies would look like if more people in it just had more cash. You know, maybe, maybe corporate taxes or even business just the bill of taxes in general might be a little higher. Uh, labor costs might be a little higher. But at the same time, more money going around all together. Um, and also this ties into housing. I always wondered, is um, primarily at least we're talking about renting, because where I'm from, in Canada, my whole generation, i.e. the millennial generation and the Zoomer generation after, the majority of us are going to be renters for quite a while, because we don't have six hundred thousand dollars to spend on a house, a bigger house. You know what I mean? Um, I think in Canada, the average is somewhere around five hundred and fifty thousand, if I remember right. Um, so we end up renting. And then you must be asking, well, okay, I mean, you're renting. Maybe it's really expensive, but you're also giving that money to a landlord who you help would uh, reinvest that in the economy or spend it. But the truth is, significant amount of landlords own mortgages on their property. And that means a significant portion, sometimes even more than what the leaser actually pays ends up going straight to the bank. And you might think, well, the bank reinvests that money, but the thing, the fact of the matter is, is the bank only pays and holds a tiny microscopic amount of the money that it actually reinvests or hands out in terms of loans. <laughs> so where does that money go? Right? It's not going to the shops. It's not going to buy new cars. It's not going to buy new homes. So is is having is prime, is having private landlords the best system in the world? I'm I'm no like economicist, okay? I'm speaking here. I'm I don't no, I'm not a professional in economics. I'm definitely not. I went to film school. But <laughs> At least in the shower, I tend to ponder these things. If um, the one person who watches me has answers to these questions, please uh, comment below.